The Gartner top strategic technology trends are trends that organizations can't afford to ignore. These trends will have a significant impact over the next five years, and most organizations are not adequately factoring these into their strategic planning today. Nevertheless, each has significant transformative potential. The first trend is the Internet of Behavior, or IOB. The IOB consists of multiple approaches to capture, analyze, understand, and monetize all kinds of physical and digital representations of behavior. And analyzing this collective data can be used to then incense behavior. For example, IOB can be used to monitor health protocol compliance at an industrial site to capture behavioral events. Sensors or RFID tags on a person or in the environment can be used to determine if employees are washing their hands regularly. Computer vision can be used to determine if employees are complying with mass protocols. And then speakers in the environment can be used to warn people of protocol violations. The second trend is total experience, which links multi-experience, customer experience, employee experience, and user experience, creating a more unified approach. This trend solves complex business challenges by transforming the human experience. For example, in response to COVID-19, one company created an online appointment system and integrated it with the company's app. When customers are within 75 feet of the store, they receive a notification to guide them through the check-in process. Employees then are able to use their tablets to co-browse with the customer and guide them without physically touching the customer's device. The third trend is privacy-enhancing computation. Privacy-enhancing computation is actually three types of technologies that protect data and enable secure data processing and data analytics. The first provides trusted environments to process and analyze sensitive data. The second performs processing and analytics in a decentralized manner and includes federated machine learning. The third transforms the data and algorithms before processing or analytics is performed. With all three of these approaches, private data is not exposed. A real-life application might be multi-party data analytics, where organizations pool their data for joint analytics without providing access to each other's underlying data. The fourth trend is distributed cloud, which is the distribution of public cloud services to different physical locations, while the operation, governance, and evolution of these services remains the responsibility of the public cloud provider. This allows organizations to have cloud computing resources closer to the physical location where data resides and business activities happen, but these services are still maintained and updated by the public cloud provider. One use of distributed cloud is to ensure that data remains in the geographical location in which it's mandated to reside. Distributed cloud is the future of cloud. Our fifth trend is Anywhere Operations. Anywhere Operations is a business and operating model designed to reach customers anywhere, enable employees anywhere, and use digital technologies to deliver business services anywhere. It requires a digital-first, location-independent mindset, and delivery of distributed infrastructure and applications. Several banks are addressing this trend with mobile-only remote presence. For companies with physical presence, anywhere operations might mean contactless checkout for customers at a store or the use of sensors in an office or factory setting to enforce social distancing. The sixth trend is cybersecurity mesh, which is a distributed architectural approach to scalable, flexible, and reliable cybersecurity control. Many assets now exist outside of the traditional security perimeter. Cybersecurity mesh essentially allows for identity and the location of a person or a thing to define the security perimeter. It enables more modular and responsive security approaches by centralizing policy and orchestration in a distributed policy enforcement architecture. The seventh trend is intelligent composable business. Organizations driven by an ever-increasing pace of change must adopt a mindset that emphasizes composability based upon modularity, autonomy, orchestration, and discovery. It requires an architecture that enables better access to information, the ability to augment that information with new insights, and a composable modular data and application framework that's built to accommodate change. For example, a retail bank 
can identify trends in customer behavior and quickly create new business services. These business services might include a reassembly of existing package and custom application services to create these new services. The eighth trend is AI engineering. AI projects face issues with maintainability, scalability, and governance today. AI engineering will give organizations a pathway to deal with these issues by making AI a part of the mainstream DevOps process rather than a set of specialized and isolated projects. It brings together various disciplines to tame the AI hype while providing a clear path to value when operationalizing the combination of multiple AI techniques. The ninth trend is hyper-automation, which is a business approach where organizations rapidly identify, vet, and automate as many approved business and IT processes as possible. Business often has extensive and expensive business processes that are supported by a patchwork of automation technologies that are oftentimes not optimized, lean, connected, consistent, or even explicit. This hinders the path to digital operational excellence. The idea is now to automate as many of these processes as possible using a variety of intelligent automation technologies in a coordinated fashion. These are the top strategic technology trends for 2021. They combine to help organizations transform their business and prepare for the intelligent, composable future.